Good morning from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. I'm John Marino with our global market update on Friday, December 27th. At this hour, U.S. markets gearing up for another low volume trading day and possibly also some losses after the Dow posted triple digit gains yesterday. And with international trading back in full swing today, when you take a look at our global markets panel right now, you're seeing the FTSE up about seven tenths of a percent, DAX up eight tenths of a percent. Midday, the CAC 40 is up a full point, and the Nikkei is break even at the end of its trading day. And now, getting back to our NASDAQ wall, the top, top stock to watch again today will be Twitter. Shares are up more than 20% this week, and investors will keep watching the company's shares as Dick Costolo's micro messaging network is dominating headlines. The stock was up nearly five points yesterday, and already we're looking at potential gains of a half a point at the open today. Twitter stock is up more than 60% this year, but lockup expirations are looming for shares in February and May of next year. So what is it going to take to legitimize Bitcoin? How about a NASDAQ-listed company launching a Windows-based application allowing traders to access the five most popular Bitcoin exchanges? That's what WPCS International is doing, according to an announcement from the company, and the stock in the New Jersey-based company soared after hours from more than 60% heading into the open today. WPCS's trading product is expected early next year and should be generating revenue for the company by mid-next year, it says. Closing out our stocks right now is an action alert from Jim Cramer. Don't look now, but Caterpillar shares could close out 2013 in the black, and Jim is buying once again. For one, the company recently posted growth in its power systems unit sales, which is a big positive. However, Jim points out, expectations are so low right now, very little has to go right in order for Caterpillar stock to eke out gains. Shares are down 7% in the last two years, but Jim sees a buying opportunity right now. And that's all for us this morning. We'll be posting market updates and breaking news throughout the day at thestreet.com. I'm John Marino. Have a great day.